person I can think of is... Is... who? Is some... No, it's just that I was thinking of a male friend of mine. I, I never would have imagined you were into that sort of thing. What sort of thing? <laughs> the sort that fills young maidens' hearts with joy and heads with dreams. Your Highness? Your Highness? Good evening, Reen. What a joy this is! Especially considering that Class 7 has no lack of fine gentlemen. Ooh! There are so many wonderful potential pairings that I hardly know where to start. <laughs> your, your Highness, please! Is this what the head of the literature club's always writing about? How did I not connect the dots until now? Elise, is... is this kind of thing popular over at St. Astraya? Well... Oh, Reen, you're so precious. Rare is the woman who could deny herself a honeyed sip from this wellspring of fantasy. Just try not to fall in and drown yourselves. Anyway, I'll be back later. Please excuse me, Your Highness. Uh. Hmm. Maybe I should have taken matters into my own hands. <laughs> By the looks of it, you still might have a chance. Your Highness, please! Hey, Crow! What's up, man? You're not here to collect that interest already, are you? I value my kneecaps as much as the next guy, but I need more time. <laughs> nah, I'm just over here because my sister shot me down when I asked her to dance. Needless to say, it's been a long day. Want to find a spot to sit down with me? I could use a cold drink and a good rest. Now you're speaking my language. I'm in. Let's get two of the strongest damn drinks those stalls will pour us. You know none of them sell alcohol, right? Look at Jellica and George dancing the night away. <laughs> I wonder if this is what I think it is. And what is that exactly? Jeez, you couldn't see flying sparks in a dark cave at midnight, could you? Keep that up all your life and you'll break even more hearts than I will. But I mean, Angelica and George? <laughs> Forget it. Let me take you on a little trip to Uncle Crow's Wisdom Corner. Little being the operative word. Seriously, though, if you only hold on to one piece of advice, it should be take care of your buds. I know, I know, you've heard it all a million times, but I wouldn't be telling you if I wasn't telling you straight. Doesn't matter where you are or if you graduate. If you treat your friends right, they're not going to let you down. You need at least one like that. <laughs> Better get searching if you don't have one. <laughs> you still with me, Reen? Sorry, I was just surprised. I didn't know you were capable of giving serious advice. You know, each of these snide little comments is a tiny knife in my heart. I try to share a bit of my life experience and help my little buddy out, and this is the treatment I get? <laughs> I do appreciate it, though. My time here has definitely taught me how important a good friend can be. And... I consider you one of mine. I don't just look up to you because you're older than me, but because you're a good friend. 
Okay, maybe friend is a little strong. Partner in crime might be more like it. Partner in crime, huh? Not sure whether I should be offended or wear it with pride. <laughs> You're a funny one, Reen. First you try to get interest on a 50 mirror loan, then you shower me with compliments? <laughs> Partners in crime are supposed to be able to turn from dangerous to friendly in the blink of an eye, right? <laughs> you got me there. We don't have long before you graduate, but we've got to make the most of it. You bet. Just, uh, pray that I get to graduate at all. After that, I went back to see Elise. But by then, that memorable evening was approaching its end. <laughs>